Hello, welcome to uh, Spark uh, lesson video this week. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope school is going great uh, this week and um, starting to get back into a little bit of a routine and things are um, you know, starting to be a little bit normal, whatever that might look like for you, whether you are uh, going to school, whether you're doing school uh, at your house, uh, or maybe going somewhere else and doing school uh, on a tablet or a laptop or that sort of thing. So I've been thinking about you, I've been praying for you, and um, been in contact with most of you uh, regarding just how life's going. So I wanna dive into this lesson a little bit. Um, I wanted to talk about purchasing a ticket. Have you ever purchased a ticket and held it in your hand and waited for the event to arrive I know my family and I, we like to go to the Marvel movies uh, right when it, it is opening, opening weekend. And we usually get our tickets and we get our popcorn and we wait in line and we're sitting there in anticipation and we're waiting and uh, we're exciting. So I know what that, that feels like. Uh, and going to a sporting event, when you buy a ticket and you're waiting in line, you have that ticket in your hand. Well, I uh, purchased a ticket to WrestleMania this year. And WrestleMania was going to be at Raymond James Stadium. And WrestleMania is the biggest event in uh, the wrestling world. Uh, it's like the Super Bowl of the wrestling world. And I want to show you my ticket. This is my ticket for WrestleMania this year. It was going to be at Raymond James. See how it like moves and the fireworks. Look at that. Isn't that really cool? Well, this ticket was bought and paid for, but it was never used because of COVID, they canceled the event. I got my money back and they did it differently this year. But there's my little WrestleMania uh, ticket. And I was sad, I was really sad. Um, Cause I, I didn't get to use the ticket that I purchased. Unlike all the other times when I purchase a ticket, I'm able to use it. I walk right in or I, you know, wait a little while and, it, and I get to do it. But I purchased tickets this year. I purchased tickets to the Vipers uh, XFL game. I purchased tickets to NF's um, concert. I purchased tickets to some basketball games. And I purchased tickets to WrestleMania. And all of them had to be refunded due to COVID, which was very, very sad. Well, you know, there's another ticket that was paid for. Uh, that is very, very important. It's the most important ticket ever. And it is for our life, for our relationship with God, for our connection with the creator. The Bible says that when Jesus was on the cross, that he uttered the words, it is finished. And it is finished. And he said these things, he said this phrase before he died. And it is finished, translate, a Greek translated is tetelatisa, which means, it's an accounting term, meaning paid in full. Jesus is saying, it is finished, that the debt owed by man to the, to the creator on account of uh, Adam's sin is finally and forever dealt with. Jesus paid for our sins on the cross. Jesus is that ticket. The Bible uh, declares Jesus our mediator between us and God. That Jesus, that we pray in Jesus' name we pray, amen. That is our connection. Jesus is our connection to God. And that ticket will never decline. That ticket will never be uh, reimbursed. That ticket will never uh, go bad and uh, dusty, and that ticket is always ready to be cashed in, always ready to be, to be used. And we have that opportunity to have that relationship with God because of Jesus's uh, sacrifice on the cross and because of the resurrection. And I just wanted you to be mindful of that as you're um, in school and as you're uh, starting your week, that we have that connection with God. And I pray that as you 
think about your time frame, think about your schedule, that you mix in uh, some time with God. Right now, it's a good it's a good thing to start because we're all starting a new schedule. We're all starting a new uh, way to do things, and let's schedule God into our life. Let's schedule God, our relationship with God, as a, a priority of the day. The Bible in First uh, Corinthians six says, um, "You are not your own; you were bought with a price." Therefore, honor God with your bodies. And it's just another reminder that we were purchased by God through the blood of Jesus on the cross. That our ticket is punched. We are ready to go to the main event, to the biggest event ever, uh, to the biggest party ever, to the biggest show ever. And we're all able to do that because of what Jesus did. Everyone is included. Everyone uh, is accepted. Jesus loves everyone. Jesus cares for everyone. And this ticket is available to everyone. And so remember that. And I hope that you all have a wonderful week. Um, Alex Coors, you won the Legos. So I will be sending that to you um, this week. And I hope that everyone has a blessed week. Let's pray. God, we thank you that Jesus is our ticket and our mediator and God, that we have a relationship and a connection with you through uh, the cross. And when it is, when Jesus declared it is finished, Jesus paid for us and we are not our own. We were bought with a price and that price was Jesus's life. And we thank you for that. And we lift up you for that. And we praise Jesus for that. And it is in Jesus name that we do pray. Amen. All right. Have a wonderful week. And uh, on Thursday, if you're available at six o'clock, we will be doing uh, another Zoom gathering. So I will text everyone the numbers for that. And if you need to know that, just give me a text or an email and I will make myself, uh, I'll let you know and I'll, I'll be available for that. So, all right, God bless.